yo, it's time to take control of your life. It's time It's time to stop being lazy. Like overall, just stop being lazy, okay? Now I wanted to make this little quick video about why you should need to stop being lazy. Why you need to actually start to finally take control of your life, right? Because believe it or not, complaining won't do anything, right? If you complain all the time, you're not gonna move on with anything. You're not gonna advance. You're not gonna make any type of progress. If you don't like the way your life is right now, if you don't like the way you look, if you don't like the, the current shape that you're in, whatever the case may be, if you don't like something that's happening in your life right now, you can do something about it to change it, right? If you're just complaining all the time, you're not gonna change your life. It's not gonna do anything. Complaining never does anything. It, do it doesn't solve any problems. When you have a problem in your life and all you do is complain all the time and you're not doing anything to actually you know, change it, all you're doing is complaining and that's not solving anything. So stop being lazy. Get up from your couch and start working out. Start doing some push-ups. You don't have to do anything crazy, right? You don't have to you know, start doing three hour workouts. You don't have to do all these crazy things, right? If you're just starting out. But you have to make that first step because that first step is the difficult part. It's not the it's not the doing an hour workouts. It's not doing the two hour workouts. That's not the difficult part. The difficult part of changing your life is making that first step. That's what's difficult because you don't want to leave your box of comfort. You want to stay there all the time. But believe it or not, if you do the easy things right now, you will have a harder life later on. But if you do the hard things right now, you will have an easier life later on. You have to do what's hard right now. You have to do what makes you uncomfortable. You have to do what you know. You have to do what gets you out of your zone of comfort. You have to do all these things to start to change your life. Right? Because your life is not going to change if you're just sitting in your couch complaining all the time. Your life is going to change once you make that first step. And that first step is the most difficult step to make. But once you make that step, then you're going to be you know, in the unknown. Now you know that you made the first step because it was the most difficult step to make. I know it's not easy to start working out. I know it's not easy to start eating healthier, especially when you're around people who don't, who do the complete opposite of that. But you have to be the one that takes control of your life. You cannot let other people or wait for the world to solve your problems. You cannot wait for, you know, the government to take care of you. You cannot do all these things. You have to take care of your own self. You have to do things that will better your life, but you have to do that yourself. You have to take action. So it's time to stop being lazy. If you want to lose weight, but you're on your couch eating dirty food, watching, you know, TV all the time, or you're not doing anything that involves physical activity, if all you're doing is doing that, and you're not doing anything to change your life, it's to change the way that you look right now. Because I know for a fact that when you're not in the way that you want to be, or you don't like the way your body looks, I know that you're not confident during that time. But in order for to, to be confident, you need to take the first steps to actually change your life. And that's working out and that's eating healthier. I know it's hard, but who else is gonna do it for you? No one else is gonna do it for you. You can either complain and remain in the same spot, or you can not complain, look for a solution and take action on that. So you can actually change your life. And you won't notice the change in your life immediately, okay? That's normal. You won't notice it as time goes by. Just like it took you time to gain weight, just like it took you time to get to the point where you're at right now, it will take time to change your life. It will, it will take time to get to the point where you want to be. You know, everything takes time. Everything compounds. Everything that you do right now is compounding and creating the future you, the future life that you're going to live. So whether you're going to live the life that you want to live, it's depending on the actions that you're taking right now in your life on a daily basis. What you do on a daily basis. Are you sitting around and eating junk food all the time? Are you not working on something passionate of yours? Are you just being lazy all the time? Or are you actually doing something that's working towards having the life that you want later on? Because that's, those are the questions that you have to ask yourself. The easy things to do in life are the things that are going to lead you to a more difficult life later on. It's easy to sit around and eat junk food all the time and watch TV. That's so easy and that's so comfortable to do. Everyone wants to do that. That's so comfortable. Human nature seeks the path of least resistance. So that's very easy to do. Our mind wants us to do that because that releases a lot of dopamine. And it's so easy to do. But what happens later on? You have a harder life. Now you have health problems. Now you are overweight. Now you are unconfident. That's a harder life that you're going to live later on. But you're doing the easy things right there. But in order to prevent that, you have to do the harder things in life right now. You have to work out. You have to eat healthier. You have to work on any side hustle that you have. It may be difficult right now. It may be a lot of work right now, but that's going to lead you to having an easier life later on. That's what's going to lead you to having the life that you actually want, that, that, to become the person that you actually want to become, right? You have to, be, you have to work towards becoming the person that you want to become who you want to admire. You admire a lot of people out there. You have idols. You look up to a lot of people and you don't even look up to yourself. You don't even admire your own self. You ignore yourself when you should be the person that you should be admiring the most. You should be looking up to yourself the most, 
because you know that you're putting in the work all the time. But that's why you don't look up to yourself because you're not putting any work towards yourself. You're ignoring yourself. And that's why you are living a life that may be miserable. But that's okay because now that you're aware that you don't like the, the life that you have right now, now that you're aware that you have to make changes on your own self, now it's time to take the first step. The first step to changing your life in any way possible. It doesn't even have to be, you know, changing your physical health. It could be anything. It could be any problem that you have right now in your life. Maybe you have financial problems and you want to start earning more. Well, you're going to have to put work in to start earning more money, to start increasing your income. Maybe you don't like the way you look right now. Maybe your body is not, you don't, you're not confident in yourself. Maybe you don't like the way your body looks. Well, it's time to go to the gym and hit the, hit the weights. Or it's time to go to the combat gym and start boxing and doing something. It's time to start eating healthier. It's time to cut the junk food. It's time to throw that shit away. Throw it away. It's time to do all these things. It's time to let go of these toxic habits that you have and start incorporating healthy habits that are going to change your life as time goes by. Because that's the thing about habits. Habits don't, you don't notice the change right now. You notice them as time goes by. That's why you are in this position right now. The position that you're in right now is because of the habits that you have formed and your past self has formed and you have followed through with those habits. So if you don't like the position that you're in right now, you have to look deeply into what type of habits you have on a daily basis. What is it that you do on a daily basis? Because if you do these things on a daily basis and you don't like the position that you're in life right now, then you have to change what you do on a daily basis. You have to change your habits and form new ones. Get rid of the bad, toxic habits and start forming healthier, good habits that, that's going to lead you to a life that you want that's going to lead you to admiring your own self. You know, a lot of people just spend so much time complaining and complaining and complaining and that really doesn't do anything. It just, it doesn't do anything. It actually makes you even more miserable. The world is not going to solve your problems. You have to solve your own problems. You have to come out and do it your own self, okay? Nobody's going to solve your problems for you. If you all you do is complain all the time, you're going to stay in the same spot forever. I'm telling you this right now. If you complain 24-7 and that's all you want to do, you're going to stay in the same spot for the ever until the day that you don't exist in this earth anymore. Complaining is not going to do anything. If you're not in the way that you want to be in and all you do is complaining, guess what? Complaining is not going to lose you the 30 pounds that you want to lose. It just will not. And if you want to try it, go ahead and try it and let me know how it goes because you will not lose the weight that you want if all you do is complain. If you don't like the way that your income is looking like right now, complaining will not make your boss raise your income. Complaining will not lead you to having six figures. It just won't. What's going to lead you to solving those problems is finding a solution instead of sitting around and complaining. You cannot be lazy, okay? If you want a different life, you cannot be lazy. It's time to get up from your ass and actually start going in and put in the work. Put in the road work and the miles in. Go to the gym. Hit the, hit the weights. Start eating healthier. Start working on a side hustle or a side passion that you have. Start building something, but do something for your own self for once and stop complaining. All you need is that first step. Once you make that first step, now you're going to start to build momentum, but all you need is that first step. You just have to make that first step. And I know it's hard in the beginning to make that first step. And it's very hard because your ego doesn't want you to do that. I know it's hard, but a bad day for ego is a good day for a soul. So you have to do this for you. You have to do this for your own good. It's going to be hard in the beginning. That first step is going to be hard. I know it is, but you have to make that first step. You have to get over that hump. Once you get over that hump, now you're going to have momentum. And that's going to lead you towards where you want to go. Now you're going to take action and action every day, every day, every day. But you have to make that first step. And that first step is probably one of the most difficult steps to make. Just like quitting an addiction is very hard in the beginning. Just like quitting fapping all the time and going on no fap. I know that's hard in the beginning, right? But you have to make that first step towards making something different in your life. Towards making your life different. Towards improving your life in some way. Whether that's your financial life, your spiritual life, your mo emotional, mental life, your physical well-being, whatever it is, you have to make that first step. And I know it's difficult, but you have to make that first step. And you have to quit being lazy and complaining because that's not going to do anything. I'm telling you, complaining and being lazy is not going to do anything for your life. It's not going to do anything to advance to your life and actually find a solution to change the position that you're in right now. If you're complaining all the time, you're going to stay in the same spot. You're going to be miserable the whole time and you're just gonna do not you're not gonna do anything that's gonna lead you towards bettering your life and becoming a person that you admire and look up to and be proud of take time out of your day every single day to do something that's gonna improve you in some way take it a day at a time all you need is to take it a day at a time stop looking at how far you have to go take it a day at a time and look at how much you have progressed stop looking so much on damn I have so much time to go I have so much way to go start looking focusing on what it is right now what it is that you have to do right now take it a day at a time and remember that it's never too late to change your life it is never too late okay you could be 50 years old you could be 60 years old it doesn't matter it is never too late to change your life i mentioned in the other video about working out how my grandma herself she's in her 
over 60 years old already and she is working out she just started working out she started to take her nutrition more seriously and she's losing weight now she's trying to better her life every day and she's already at that age where people think that your life is over when it, it doesn't have to be okay just because you're older doesn't mean that your life is over you can still make things happen to change your life to improve your life in some way so remember that it's never too late to change your life you can always change your life at 20 years old at 30 years old at 40 years old 70 years old it doesn't matter what age you can start changing your life at 15 years old when you're in school you don't have to be it's not too young you're never too young to change your life just like you're never too old to change your life so remember that you can change your life at any point in your life okay don't think that it's too late don't think that's too late to lose weight or to increase your income or to do, to do something in your life. It is never too late. So start taking action right now. Stop being lazy. Get up from your ass. Get up from your couch. Get up from your bed and start hitting the gym. Start eating healthier. Start looking for ways to increase your income. Start doing things that it doesn't even have to be all those things, but just start doing things that's going to improve your life in some way. If you have a problem in your life right now in any area of your life, start looking for solutions to those problems instead of complaining and being lazy. Complaining and being lazy will leave you in the same spot right now, but looking for solutions and actually how to solve these problems in your life will lead you to improving your life in some way. But yeah, start taking action in your life, stop being lazy, stop complaining, and look for solutions in your life. But anyways, that's all I got. I'm out.